part two of chemical properties of amines. Now amines undergo substitution reactions as well as acid-base reactions and these are a little more complex. Let's have a look at an example. So like ammonia, amines will replace a halogen on a halo alkane. So if we take, for example, chloroethane and we add ammonia to it, remember ammonia has that N with an unbonded pair of electrons on it, and the halogen is the functional part of this organic compound. So when these two react, the chlorine group is replaced with an NH2 group from the from the ammonia and we're left with an HCl so it results in an HCl so we end up with a primary amine being formed and hydro a hydrogen halide forming in this case hydrogen chloride what about if we react the same structure the chloroethane with an amine so we've got methyl amine here or amino methane if you want to call it whichever you want to call it is going to react in a very similar way and HCl is going to be one of the products again so one of the hydrogens and will be reacting with the Cl to form the hydrogen halide again so we get HCl formed again in this situation so what happens then this bond is broken so we have a free bonding space on this carbon Let's say this hydrogen is removed, so we have this free bonding space on the nitrogen, and that's where the carbon and nitrogen bond to each other. So we end up with this CH3 group, this methyl group, as part of the new organic chemical. Let's have a look. So we've got our ethane part of the halo, halo alkane still here. Then that carbon whose bond was freed up is now bonded to the nitrogen from the NH, um, Cl3, sorry, CH3 NH2 groups. Um, the, the methyl group is still there, it's still attached, and we get HCl forming. So this product is a secondary amine this time. And uh, again, hydro hydrogen chloride or is, is formed, or hydrogen halide is formed. So a little more complex than the other reactions that we've looked at. But if you can see the pattern and work out what's happening and recognize that HCl is formed each time, you'll be able to work out what the organic product is.